Check, 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 check. Sorry, just making sure that the, the audio is synced up properly. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Welcome to your weekly, bi-weekly, whenever I can upload channel update video. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. A really long time, so, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff's been happening within the past, a lot of stuff happened within the past month, so without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into it, just go ahead and get into what's going on in the channel, some things that I do want to cover, some things I want to talk to you guys about, and yeah, because a lot's been going on, and a lot more is to come, so let's get into it, I'm really excited. First and foremost, guys, thank you so much to those of you who have been so patient with me, thank you for so much for just not constantly getting on to me, being understanding, just not being just complete jerks about me ha not having an upload schedule. Because I know I promised so many times before that I would have a good schedule, I would have a consistent schedule, and I know that even more times it would just fall flat. Uh, recently I've been having a lot of things going on in my personal life and uh, I've actually been having a lot of family members staying with me so I have been unable to do anything for this longest time and that's by the sheer fact of well not a whole lot of my family knows that I make videos or do streams and I'm really shy to even mention it or bring it up to them so yep yeah, kind of awkward really awkward <laughs> so thank you guys for being so patient until the Cuphead stream that happened about maybe last Thursday with one of my family members, which was a blast, to be honest. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. It was a great time. But, uh, that's something that's been going on personally, and I'm just really thankful that you guys have been so understanding for that. Thank you again. I really, really appreciate it. So, uh, with that being said, there's some things that I want to go ahead and address that's going on in the future with the channel, as well as going on in the present time of the channel. Uh, one of the things that's going on is that some of you who have uh, probably followed me on Twitch have noticed that my live streams haven't been reaching Twitch lately. And uh, in the beginning, it was technical issues, but I have resolved them and figured out that instead of setting my encoder to YouTube, it's best to set it to the actual software that I'm using to stream to both YouTube and Twitch called Restream.io. Uh, with that, I found that it actually restreams to both the platforms that I am currently streaming on. Um, yes, both of the platforms, as in two. One being YouTube, of course, and the second one being a nifty new little newcomer. New. <laughs> called DLive. DLive is another uh, live streaming platform that is actually, uh, it's actually pretty new. It's maybe a year old at most. Actually, I think it's only a couple of months. So, yeah, that's something that I'm really interested in trying out. I'm always looking to try out some new things, especially for the channel. And when it comes to just live streaming and things like that, I feel like it's good to kind of look out there and find some new things, find some new ground to try out and just kind of mess around with, see what's going on. Because when it comes to content creation, you don't really want to lock yourself in this tiny box. You want to try and expand to see what's out there and just see what's going on, and that's personally what I like to do with these live streams. I've tried Mixer, it was okay. I've tried uh, Twitch, that is a very saturated market and it's very difficult to grow on a saturated market like YouTube or Twitch unless you can make yourself stand out from the crowd really significantly and while I'm trying to figure out how to do that personally, at the moment I'm just unable to do so. So I'm just trying to figure out some new things, find some new things and just try out whatever I can to kind of find the identity for the channel because at the moment it's a pretty generic channel. It's mainly just uh, live streams, content, of uh, gameplay, not a whole lot, so I'm trying to give the channel its own identity. That's why I'm trying to involve you guys as much as I can, so that way I could kind of uh, get you guys involved in this little journey of helping the channel find its own uh, identity. Because I feel like that part of helping a channel grow, or part of a channel growing, one of the most interesting and fun parts is the community that grows around that channel. So you guys are a big part of this channel. Especially since it's such a small channel. That just makes the individuals that are coming to it all the more important because it's helping to bring new voices, bring new cultures and everything to the channel. And that's something I really do value when it comes to the content or just you guys commenting on the videos. I mean, if you guys comment on videos, odds are I'm going to see them, and if I can, I'm going to usually interact with you guys. 
But beyond that, I really do recommend checking out DLife. It's an interesting platform and has an interesting concept behind it of how it supports its content creators. And I can't explain that in this channel alone because this is probably going to be longer than I already want it to be. So until I do make a video eventually explaining that, I do recommend looking into that yourselves, kind of just looking out there and doing your own little research for now. Uh, it's a small platform, not bad, and maybe, just maybe, we may be able to grow on that one too. Who knows? <laughs> I'm rambled on way too much for that, so uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. The games! Oh my gosh, the thing this channel has been based on since the inception, since the beginning. Yeah, it's going to be interesting the next few months, actually. Um, one thing that I have to say that is probably the most exciting thing for me, and maybe the most exciting thing for a lot of you guys, I'm going to be playing Alien Isolation again. <laughs> uh, some of you may have actually come onto the channel because of Alien Isolation, while others have probably only heard references to it. And Alien Isolation is personally my favorite stream on the channel, and... Uh, yeah, I was thinking, what can I do for the 100 subs thing? It's been a month now. And I was just thinking, you know what? Alien Isolation. Probably one of my favorite streams to do on the channel, and it'll only be a lot more fun uh, with more people coming to the channel. And you know what? It's probably perfect timing, because recently the whole uh, new Alien game for the iOS got announced, so maybe that'll bring in some new Squatchkins. It's the internet, man. It's the internet. <laughs> Uh, but no, I'm I'm kidding. I really do love doing that uh, game for streams. It's so much fun. Uh, so yeah, be looking forward to that in the near future. I don't know when exactly because there are some other things that I want to take care of and do before that does come to fruition. One of the things that I do want to do, uh, do want to finish is the uh, Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle uh, Story Mode. And before I do that, I want to finish the uh, kind of first part first part of the uh, Persona 4 Arena's protagonist story mode for Yu Narukami because I know there will be a spoiler in there at least a little bit so I don't want to chance it I want to try and give you guys at least a little bit of that and then um, after I'm able to do just like a little bit more that so I can avoid as many spoilers as possible I will jump back into Blast Blue Cross Tag Battle do the Persona 4 Arena episodes for it and then I will move on to the true ending of the blast blue side and that should do that for then uh, as for the live streams on the channel we have both Kingdom Hearts and Undertale uh, Kingdom Hearts is more of a kind of filler I guess but it's more of like join me for the journey back to where we were kind of thing kind of deal and that's because uh, basically well if you don't know the recording just went wrong for when I last tried to record Kingdom Hearts, and that's why I've been just unable to do anything with it because I haven't been wanting to grind to just get back to the point where I was. It's just a big slog, I don't want to grind, and honestly, I thought, yeah, that'd be a little too much trouble to do off camera. So, I decided to make sure you guys can see all my suffering on camera. This was a mistake. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm planning to do that for more live streams until I get to the point where I started recording for the last episode that I recorded that didn't actually make it to the channel. As well as for Undertale, I am going to be keep I am going to keep doing that game. I am going to continue doing Undertale. But there's another game I'm actually really looking forward to coming out. I believe it's called The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. It's a game that I when I found out about it, I looked into it, the art style looked really good, and I honestly just fell in love with the game's concept overall in general, and I am really looking forward to playing that game. Comes out this month, really looking forward to playing that for a live stream for you guys, maybe a let's play if things get a little bit shaky, but more, off, more likely than not, it's gonna be a live stream, let's be honest. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt here, I just wanted to let you know that the game is coming out on the 12th of this month, along with a special storybook edition that I am definitely going to get and do a special opening for on the channel for you guys, so do look forward to that, I know I am. Anyways, gonna give it back to the IRL Pump Squatch, see you guys later. That's pretty much it guys, we kind of plateaued again about uh, 108 subs, 
but I'm looking forward to doing a lot more in the future. We've been coming along this great journey for the channel. We've been making a whole lot of memories, and honestly, I wouldn't trade. I would not trade them for the world. Thank you so much. Thank you all very much for watching, guys. Thank you for joining me on this journey. And, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry if the audio sounded weird for this. It's a new setup. My camera is clearly a lot better quality, so that's nice. And that's because I'm not using just my crummy laptop computer camera. No, I'm, I'm using my cell phone on a stand that I got from Best Buy for, like, 20 bucks. And, honestly, a good investment, I have to say. It was a really good investment. But, uh... Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it there before I ramble on anymore. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video or the content within, feel free to leave a like. Make sure the other Squatch can see this uh, video. And yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Also, look forward to a special video about an iOS game called Bang Dream Girls Band Party. I have really been wanting to make a game, uh, a video on this game, and I am really looking forward to it. After that, the next iOS game I'm gonna do a video on is My Singing Monster. I didn't forget, man, don't worry. <laughs> thank you all very much for watching, though. I really do appreciate it. Alright, I'm gonna end it there. Anyways, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and as always, I am Pump Squatch. Goodbye.